The country is suffering a number of fire outbreaks. Various methods are being put in place to address the situation. One of such is the urging of the populace to acquire fire protective devices, commonly known as fire extinguishers. China has suffered a number of fire devastations in recent times. The increase in this, according to aspects, could be attributed on electrical faults, the poor handling of naked lights, as well as the lack of adherence to fire safety education by most people. A raging fire that engulfed a number of shops at the Cantamanto Market in the Central Business District comes to mind readily. While the Ghana National Fire Service is doing all it can to help address such unforeseen occurrences, individuals must also play their part well by at least keeping an active fire protection device like fire extinguishers in their homes, shops, offices to help control fire often in emergency situations. Passing through a number of checkpoints when imported into the country, fire extinguishers have become a necessary evil. At the Ghana National Fire Service, for instance, these gadgets are properly checked, tested and labelled. We need to have the information, the, the material, the data sheet. Go on the net, find out how the thing is going to be on the environment. Because you're not supposed to be bringing things that have effect on the environment. Having said this, one extinguisher that has caught the attention of many is cold fire. As an organic product and an environmentally friendly solution, it helps to instantly extinguish flame while leaving surfaces cool to touch without any toxic residue. It also helps fire from reigniting after putting it out. Fighting of fire has become a collective responsibility as current figures gathered from the Ghana National Fire Service indicates an increase in various forms of fire outbreak destroying innocent lives with cost of property running into several billions of Ghana cities. The procedure to register, certify and, uh, and then uh, approve of a product as an importer, I feel that the procedure is too long and uh, uh, it has actually kept us waiting for a simple demonstration that has to take place. I wish that in the future the authorities would uh, organize a, a, a shorter process whereby yes, we will still go through the standard board go through the EPA and then go through the uh, fire service. While importers go through a number of things to get their products approved, the fire service itself has some challenges including inadequate rescue appliances, protective clothing and logistical constraints. If these challenges are addressed and educational campaigns with individuals acquiring the appropriate extinguishers are sustained, it can go a step further in reducing the rampant fire outbreaks in the country to the barest minimum.